I mean, really, how cool is it that my drone easily fits just like in a side pocket in my camera bag now? It hasn't always been this way. My Phantom 4 was never with me because it was too big. This thing is cute and tiny, and I think I'm gonna have it on me all the time now. I mean, seriously, now you see it, now you don't. It's pretty cool how small this thing is. That's definitely the main selling point for this thing. Hopefully we can get some usable photos and video out of it. And I'm a little bit worried because of all the other reviews about how the range is gonna be. So we'll check that out too. Wow. One of the first things I notice about this thing is just how speedy and sporty it is. It is so fast in sport mode. It feels like, I don't know, it's fast. I would say this thing is way more fun, if nothing else, to fly than the Mavic Pro just because it's, it's so small, yet it's a little bit faster. It's really, really cool. I'm gonna take this thing out of sport mode and we'll do some, do some footage here. I have no filters of any kind on here. Unfortunately, my shutter speed is going to be very fast because I don't have any filters on. In these bright conditions, you should always have some ND filters with you. So right now I'm about 800 feet away from myself and I still have nice signal transmission. Let's go back here and do a photo, see how the photos look. <laughs> the thing zips, this thing is so fast. It is just crazy fast. So now there is a bit of a breeze today. I have flown this once before and it was breezy then and it seems to do quite well in the wind. It's not as good as like a Phantom 4, but I would say it's better than my Mavic Pro was in the wind. So I'm struggling to find a decent composition of this, but I guess that doesn't matter. We'll switch over into photo. I'm shooting JPEG plus RAW. Always shoot these things in RAW just like any other camera. I definitely am annoyed by the fact that I don't have my digital readout on my remote as well as not having an exposure compensation dial. So rather than using the exposure compensation on the dial, what I'm doing is I'm just going in here and there's an exposure compensation right here on my menu so I can darken my shot, brighten my shot, or I can go to my shutter speed and change it that way. Unlike the Phantom 4, you cannot adjust your aperture settings. So you're left with only ISO and shutter speed. Holy cow, this thing is so fast. It really zips. So a lot has been said about the noise of the Mavic Air, and it is not quiet. It's definitely a little bit louder than the Phantom Pro was for sure. It's that the, it's got a higher pitched sound to it because I think those rotors are turning so much faster. Does it bother me? Eh, not really. I think I've gotten used to drones being loud. Quiet is always better. And this thing is definitely not quiet. Check out how fast this thing is though. <laughs> this thing is ridiculous. So reliability wise, I really haven't ran into any issues. The app has not crashed a single time on me, which it was happening all of the time with my Mavic Pro. Really, it's, it's worked pretty flawlessly. Battery life, definitely shorter. And you do notice it when you're flying. It's kind of a bummer for that reason. Uh, so battery life and the range are definitely less. I have noticed it, but the thing is this particular drone is designed for just sheer portability. It is so small and so compact that uh, it's easy to take it with you. And I think it's really directed at vloggers like myself where you just need something that is quick and easy to, to use and it's gonna fit in the bag really easy. And for those two reasons, I definitely do not regret this purchase. I know that the Mavic Pro 2 is coming out and it's looking like a really compelling uh, drone, but the thing is, it's a little bit bigger and are you going to want to take something a little bit bigger with you all the time? I know that I'm gonna have this with me all of the time because this fits really easy in my camera bag. And when I want to do really serious work, I'm gonna use my Phantom 4 Pro. 
So I think that that's what DJI is wanting, is they want you to have your big daddy drone for serious work and then your small portable drone for travel. And they've cornered me into that and I, and I don't regret it. I think it's, I think it's gonna work out pretty well for me. So now let's get into the sample footage. All of this upcoming footage was shot on the Mavic Air. Thank you guys so much. Make sure you like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. So something that I've discovered is you're definitely going to have to charge your batteries a bunch of times. I went through my, all my batteries before noon, so uh, definitely make sure you either have a bunch of batteries or be very efficient with your shooting.